Hello my lovelies, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Mary and I give you an extra warm welcome. I would love it if you can click the subscribe button and stay for a while. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so, so much for being here. I appreciate you more than you know. So as you could tell from the title of the video, today I'm going to create some eye looks with the Icy Nude Palette from Huda Beauty. I did wait for the Sephora sale to pick this palette up. I almost picked it up as soon as it launched, but it was just so close to the sale that I decided to wait. I know there are already so many videos out there reviewing this palette. This is a first impressions and I thought, you know what? Let me go ahead and just do some eye looks in case you were looking for some inspiration for this palette. So let me go ahead and pull my hair back, put some eye primer on so we can get started with the eye looks. Okay, um, I'm all over the place. This is like the fifth time I've tried to film this. My kiddos are up here in my oldest daughter's room, so they've been interrupting. And yeah, okay, let's talk a tiny bit about the palette and what Miss Huda Katan informed us about these 15 pan eyeshadow palettes. So this is the Huda Beauty Icy Dude Eyeshadow Palette. It retails for $69. It has a 24 month shelf life and it was made in Italia. Okay, so here on the Sephora website, it doesn't have too many details. An eye palette with 18 shades, oh, 18, for some reason I thought it was 15, of ultra pigmented shadows and innovative textures for fiercely confident looks. I'm pretty sure you have seen so many videos already and um, what Miss Huda informed us about this palette. So every year she comes out with this big pan palette for her holiday release and this is going to be the last one according to Miss Katan. I don't know if we should 100% believe that because I feel like never say never but for the foreseeable future this is the very last one. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued to see what direction she's going. Like if she's just going to stick to the nine pan eyeshadow palettes that she gives us a couple times of year, or maybe she's going smaller and doing like a 12 pan, 10 pan. I don't know, but I am excited to see the direction in which the brand is going as far as eyeshadow palettes go. I'm excited to try this out. I do enjoy Huda Beauty eyeshadow palettes. I think the quality is really nice. And yeah, so let me go ahead and pull my hair back, put some eye primer on, and we can get started with the first eye look. Okay, let's go ahead and get started, but let me tell you what I have on my face. It's later than I normally film, so I'm trying to hurry up because now it gets darker earlier. <laughs> Uh, so for foundation, I went in to the little sample of the Fenty, the newest foundation. I forget what it's called. I probably have about a third left, so I'm just trying to use it up. Victoria Beckham Concealer Cream Products. I went in to the Huda Beauty Blush Filter in Latte as my cream bronzer and the Milk Makeup Jelly Tint in Burst. By Terry Pressed Powder for my under eyes and the RMS Powder for the rest of my face. I don't have powder bronzer or powder blush on yet, and I'll finish all that once I'm done with the eye look. So I'm kind of thinking I want to do a halo eye. So uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and do high life right here. So many great options for inner corner shades. This is a 15 mini. And I'm going. I have not swatched the palette yet. Ooh, hopefully this is dark enough for it to show up on my skin tone. Okay, just barely, <laughs> but it's fine because I am going to deepen up the inner corner and outer corner, the lower lash line, and I think I'm gonna also put it down here. Okay, this is what we're looking like, and I totally didn't tell you. High Life is the name of this shade. Next, I'm gonna jump into this one here, which is Fa Fur. This is a 14 mini from Ruffer. And I'm just going to deepen up the inner and outer corners. And anytime I do an eye look, I always go back and forth between all the shades. That's why I don't like to use just one brush for multiple tones because I do go back and just freshen up 
all of the tones that I went into. Okay, glitter glue is on and now to pick a shimmer. This one looks so pretty and it's also chunky and kind of raised. This one, even though it looks white, it looks like it might have a pinky purple shift. This one also looks chunky. This one looks like it might be a tiny bit dark. Let me swatch this one, this one, and this one, and then I guess we'll go from there. Oh yeah. If you have used um, Huda Beauty, like the big pants, you know the chunky shimmers that I'm talking about. Diamond Dew. It's the one. Ooh, pretty. And then VVS. Ooh, these feel so... <sighs> Best way I can describe it. Slidey, but like metallic slidey. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> Iced Out, which is that white one. Oh, these are all so pretty. I think this one, VVS, and maybe a tiny bit of Iced Out, right? VVS. Okay, I could just leave it at this, but I do want to add a tiny bit of iced out, like right in the center. And as you can see, I did put some on my lower lash line. This shade is so beautiful. I would definitely say that these chunky formulas in these 18 pan palettes from Huda Beauty, they're one of the closest I have found to like indie formula metallic shimmer shadows. This, this shade is just... Okay, so let me dip in a tiny bit into Iced Out and hopefully it doesn't ruin the look because it does have like a pinky purple shift. It's this one here on the bottom. I really, really wanted to play with more than just one shimmer for this first eye look. Okay, now for inner corner. I have a couple of options. The white one, this pinky one, this super light, almost purple gray right here. Um, let's try that one, One Self. This is the B2 from Blen Bunny. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. Let me finish off. I'll be right back and show you the completed eye look. All right, my lovelies. Eye look and face is done uh, just in time because I feel like I don't have too much light left. Let me tell you what else I have on my face. For eyebrows, I went in to the Gucci Brow Pencil, got to be brow gel and a tiny bit of the Melt Cosmetics brow gel. Uh, for lashes, I went in to the little Chanel sample that I got of a mascara. I forget the name of it and Lancome Mascara. Uh, both of those are almost done, which is exciting because then I can open up some other mascaras. Powder, bronzer, I went in to the By Terry in shade 2. For blush, I went in to the duo from Dior in Dior Rivera. I feel like this is just the perfect pinky tone to make it look like give that icy, I was just out in the snow kind of pink. And then I did go in to the Holiday 2024 from Dior Luminizer in 001 or Lumiere. I think that's the name. Uh, lips I have on Skin by Kim Lip Liner in Nude 5 and the Ilia Lip and Cheek in At Last. And I think that's everything. Okay, here is eye look number one with the Huda Beauty Icy Nude Palette. So pretty, super icy. I think this eye look is beautiful. So far, this palette, I'm in Joy. I used one, two, three mattes and two shimmers. Let me go ahead and hand you on over to the second eye look. I don't know yet if it'll be the last eye look or if there will be a third one, but let me go ahead and hand you on over. All right, my lovelies, back with eye look number two. Base is the same, I just haven't gone in to powder bronzer, so if I do change it up, I'll make sure and let you know, but everything is the same. Where do I want to go with this second eye look? Um, I think we're going to start with, let's do this one here, poised. It looks like a pretty cool tone to like purple gray. I'm gonna use that as my tr transition shade. This is a little mini Natasha 
brush. Please ignore my blemish. <laughs> okay, Refer 15 Mini, and I'm gonna jump into this one here. Unapologetic. It's gonna go in the outer corner. It's like a reddish burgundy brown. Okay, NYX glitter glue is on. I'm not getting vampy vibes from this. And I'm not mad. And I'm not mad about it. <laughs> okay, now for shimmers. So I was looking at this one here. Bling. Oh, this one's a glitter. Um, Aurora right here. And that silver is pretty too. VVS from yesterday too. Is that the one I used yesterday or Diamond Dew? I used, I used VVS. That one. This one too. So maybe here, let me swatch. Bling, which looks, yep, and it feels, it's a freaking glitter. Ooh, I don't know. This one, Aurora. And then VVS is the one I used in the first eye look. Diamond Dew, which is a tiny bit more silverish. Oh man, this one, it's like a glitter and I don't like, I don't like shades like this. You will 100% need some sort of glue for this to stick or it's gonna go everywhere. So let me try Aurora. And then we'll see what I do for the inner corner. And Aurora is like a metallic kind of, oh yeah, pretty, 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 pretty. Like even though it's soft and it feels like a metallic kind of shimmer, it does have a tiny bit of dimension to the shade. Okay, I'm going to try. We'll see how it goes to use bling, the straight up glitter. I mean, are we in 2016? I probably shouldn't have because, like you can feel the glitter, the chunkiness, the grittiness. It's glitter. <laughs> probably not something I would want close to my eyeball. I mean, that'll be very pretty for holidays. Okay, for the inner corner, let's use the white avalanche. Yeah, I will never use that bling shade on my eyelids personally ever again. <laughs> okay, this is a pretty white, like pigmented white, which is what I was trying to test out. All right, let me finish off the eye look and I'll be right back. Okie dokie. Makeup is nice and done. I kept everything the same as far as powder bronzer, powder blush, highlighter, mascaras, everything except for the lip. I did switch it up. I used the Rare Beauty lip liner that I have. Cannot remember the shade, but I'll make sure and link the exact one in the description box. Anytime you click on one of my links, I always link the exact product that I am using. Whatever pops up, that's exactly what I used. Uh, and then her little lip oil situation. Uh, I don't know. I just felt like it was a rare beauty lip kind of day. <laughs> okay, so here is the second eye look with the Huda Beauty Icy Nude palette. I do feel like this one looks icy as well as the first one. Uh, it's just maybe a little bit more cool toned. And I do enjoy the way that grayish tone looks with like the burgundy cool tone red that I used, which is crazy because you don't think of red really being a cool tone, but okay. So other than that glitter, and it is straight up glitter, when you dip your finger in it, it literally feels like you're dipping your finger in sand, this one right here, which is such a shame because I think it would have been a really pretty shade if it was kind of like this one, the Aurora that I used. So she replaced that glossy, peachy looking eyeshadow <laughs> for this 
chunks grainy glitter shade okay i think i'm going to go ahead and do a third eye look with this palette and then that way i'll be able to use if not all at least 15 to 16 of the shades from the palette let me go ahead and hand you on over to eye look number three and it'll be a different day for me all right my lovelies third and final eye look with the icy nude palette from Huda Beauty. So uh, let's start with a dark one today. She Rich. And I'm going to use this little mini Natasha Denona. This tone is going to go in the outer corner. And I'm tapping first. I want to get the pigment down where I want it. Okay, I'm going to jump into. Let's do. Jeez, let's do this one and then maybe we'll add that one in the inner crease. And as far as other makeup on my face, I did switch it up today. I didn't mean to. Makeup Forever HD, the glowy one, Westman Atelier Concealer, Tarte Man Eater Cream Bronzer, and a tiny bit of the Huda Blush Filter in Latte. Powders, I went in to the By Terry for my under eyes and the Melt. For the rest of my face haven't gone into any powder products yet this little natasha denona mini brush first class is the name of this peachy tone and i'm gonna use that to blend the outer edges of this dark brown so down here okay it is very cloudy <laughs> today and that peachy nude light tone pretty much looks close to the tone of my skin so you can't really see it but i just made sure to kind of blend it in with that dark brown i think i'm happy with what i see okay we're gonna jump into this one here lavish this is the b5 from blum bunny let's see if you can even see this i should be able to since it's a pink undertone oh yeah and just use it here on the inner crease okay i think i'm going to jump into this one and i'm pretty sure this is the one i didn't use from the chunky ones yeah i used vvs so diamond dew this is the one i haven't used in an eye look i have swatched it <laughs> a gold standards let me swatch that Okay, it's just like a typical metallic tone. NYX glitter glue is on. And it's going to go in the middle. Even though it's a typical metallic, it does have specks in there. It's really pretty. It's not super boring or simple. Okay, that is so pretty i'm loving that okay now we're gonna jump into diamond dew oh i love these the texture is just so pretty you see that oh my goodness they can be a pain in the butt to work with but the end result is so worth it you see that okay that tone totally took the look <laughs> uh some people do not enjoy the texture i honestly don't mind it okay i think i'm going let's try this one here cold plunge a b2 from blem bunny okay yes that's light enough all right let me go ahead and finish off I need to hurry up because it's so cloudy right now. Apologies. It just it got real dark, real cloudy, really quick. <laughs> so I'll be right back. All right, my lovelies. While I tell you what else I have on my face, I'll go ahead and insert a video of the swatches here. So for the powder bronzer, powder blush, and powder highlighter, kept it the same as I look one and two. Mascaras, the Lancome and Chanel. 
also the same. Eyebrows Gucci Brow Pencil, Refi Brow Gel, and Got To Be Brow Gel. For the lips, I did switch it up a tiny bit and I went into the Skin by Kim Lip Liner in shade, I think Nude 5, and Rose Ink Lipstick in Demure. She apparently knew that word was going to become popular way before everybody else did. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I forget how much I love this lipstick. It's so pretty and I'm pretty sure that's it for what else is on my face. So here is eye look number three with the Icy Nude Palette from Huda Beauty. I think it's so pretty. Definitely icy. I feel like all three eye looks that I created looked pretty icy. Now they did have each their own little undertones, but they were all pretty icy. And I think that fits the title perfectly. <laughs> this is, this is a really pretty palette. This is a really, really pretty palette. I did not think I was going to enjoy it as much. Definitely when I saw the promos and everything, I thought to myself, that's a very, very light toned palette and I'm not sure how that's going to go with tan and deep complexion individuals. So I'm interested to go watch videos and see how they made the lighter tones in this palette work for them. Um, but I personally enjoyed it quite a lot. I think all three eye looks I created came out absolutely stunning. It's in between I look one and this one, I look three as to which one is my favorite. The chunky tones, actually, you know what? No, I think every single shimmer in this palette is absolutely beautiful. Even the ones that look very simple like this one, once you actually apply it to your eyelid, it just, the sparkle is so pretty. Definitely feel like Huda is the one that's been the closest to as far as a mainstream makeup brand to get to the level of indie makeup brand shimmers, but that's just my personal opinion. So I used 16 out of the 18 shades. The only two I did not use is the silver one and the pastel pinky one. Everything else I used performed great. Yeah, I'm not disappointed at all and I'm actually kind of loving it. <laughs> now this is first impressions and yes, I did create three eye looks, but I definitely need to use this a tiny bit more so that I can 100% get my full thoughts and opinion on the palette. But I think for this being the last big 18 pan palette that Huda is going to give us, she did a fabulous job. All right, my lovelies, I would love to know which eye look is your favorite. I would also love to know if you picked this palette up or if you skipped. Let me know down below. I love having a conversation with you all. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the eye looks. I appreciate all of you so, so much. All the comments, all the likes. If you use my links to shop, it truly all does mean the world to me. With that being said, do not forget to give the video a big thumbs up. And also don't forget to click the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you all on my next video. Bye.